Hi, welcome to Kula Haven Farms. This is Hawaii's first recirculating rainbow trout aquaponic system. For three years, I've been planning this farm. For two and a half years, I've been actively testing. I built a small aquaponics uh, test system uh, just to research various crops and ended up selling rainbow trout to Mama's Fish House and Watercrest to Mana Foods and other places here on Maui. So this is where it all starts. Because the water supply up here in Kula contains chloramine, which is a, a combination of chlorine and ammonia. It would kill all of our fish in a couple of hours. So this is a catalytic carbon filtration system which removes all of the chlorine and chloramine from the water and it gives us crystal clear water for the fish. So this is where the fish rearing process starts. This is our hatchery. It's still under construction, but it's already functional. And in here we can raise uh, trout all the way from eggs all the way through a four inch fingerling. So this is the heart of the system. We have six custom-made HDPE food-grade plastic fish tanks, uh, custom welded right here on site. Uh, it will hold approximately 1,000 pounds of fish initially, and ultimately as many as 4,000 pounds of fish. Um, and we're just installing the tanks right now. Um, one of the really unique features of this farm is that our fish are never netted. They will always swim where they're going to go. They swim out of the hatchery, they swim into the tanks. Um, from the tank, they swim out of this custom-made drain uh, directly through a forage line and into the next step of the process. Water flowing out of the center drains of the tanks contains the, the fish effluent, which flows into these cyclonic reactors. Now, this is upside down, but if you can imagine the water flowing into the bottom of this thing, it creates a whirlpool, very strong suction, which pulls all the particulate matter down to about 100 microns out the bottom, and the clean water flows out of the, the top part of this, uh, of this filter. These tanks are not in their final position yet, but as the water comes out of the fish tanks and it goes through the cyclonic filters, it then falls into this large tank, which is a biofilter. And this will contain two cubic meters, of little tiny plastic wheels that are the substrate for naturally occurring bacteria that transforms the fish waste into plant food. We have graded the, uh, the pad down here where the grow beds will be. There'll be 14 grow beds down there, four feet wide by 72 feet long approximately 4,000 square feet of growing area. It'll produce about 4,000 pounds of certified organic baby watercress every month. The water from the biofilter up here, that's now where the fish waste has been transformed to, fit, to plant food, that water flows down into the grow beds, nourishes the plants, and then the single pump sends the water back up to be recirculated back to the fish. Another unique feature of our farm is we're using these uh, very large diameter pipes to transfer water from the biofilter to the grow beds. This is because the new Food Safety Modernization Act treats uh, fish manure the same as animal manure. And in order to make sure that we comply with all federal regulations, we're introducing ozone into our water, which will kill any pathogens between the time it leaves the biofilter and the time the water gets into the grow beds. It'll be legally potable water that we're growing our watercress in. And this large diameter pipe provides residence time so the ozone can fully react and dissipate and turn back into oxygen by the time it gets to the grow beds. So here at Kula Haven, we're currently raising three basic crops. We're raising rainbow trout, we're raising watercress, and we're raising young farmers. And of those three, I'm most proud actually of our interns. We've got some, a couple of really amazing young men working with the farm here. They went from clearing brush to uh, constructing the entire farm. There's no part of this process that they haven't touched including decision making. And it's really part of my personal long range goal is to grow not just food, but also to grow young farmers. So thank you very much for watching this. Thank you for your support. I'm, I'm deeply grateful and honored.